All right, boys, how's it going on? So today we are fitting turbo hard pipe and a quick shifter. As you know, I mentioned a bit in the last video and I had two other things to fit. So we've got a CUK hard pipe and a Puma Speed quick shift to fit. If you didn't see the last video, please check it out. Installing the sequential indicators and uh yeah let's have a quick look at these and then we'll get them fitted but so this is a turbo hard pipe pretty nice well made it'll be better for the air traveling to the turbo and uh yeah let's have a look at the quick shift so here we are we have a puma speed quick shifter buy them through either puma speed or c uk it doesn't matter Third, they can be really fiddly to fit. You know, you kind of need small hands. I don't really, I don't really have small hands, but we'll try as best to get it on. You've got three different settings. You've got fifteen, twenty-five, and thirty-five, which is, I think it's the percentage uh, of less throw. I think that's what it means. So I think we're just gonna go all out and go for thirty-five. Might as well. What you'll need to the uh, to get this on, you'll have to take these uh, cap heads out. You'll have to disconnect the linkage with a screwdriver and then plonk these on. And then obviously the linkage going at this hole. And then, and then obviously you put the linkage back on this. So yeah, let's get cracking on. So what we're going to do, we're going to fit the hard pipe first as it's the easiest so all you got to do is take your hose clamp off take these two 10 mil nuts off and then it should just pull out so let's have a go so I'm just gonna take these 10 mil nuts off this green seal out put it in put it into the hard pipe so I'm gonna take that out so taking the green seal out fit it into this hole here there we are so gonna fit this back on now so get your hose sorry it's not the best angle <laughs> quickly show you what's going on so we've got the hard pipe on so but just like shove it in best I can and obviously I'm gonna have to tighten it down with a hose clamp and then put the nuts back on so should be simple so let's get cracking <laughs> Maybe a few more whooshy noises. We don't know. So that's looking on now. It's looking so much better to go with the other hoses and so. 
it's uh, not hard to fit really all you got to do is undo that take them two nuts off take, take that out but see the difference obviously this one's a bit thicker but it's plastic whereas that's obviously aluminium or whatever so it's just making it easier for the air to flow around the corners and that you know and it's a bit more of a obviously it's curved whereas that it's like a straight and then the curve at the end so obviously it's going to have more air flow to the turbo so now we're going to crack on with this so first we're going to have to take the induction kit off and the cone filter so let's get on with that like I said sorry for the not very good view so I'm just going to take the hose clamp off at the top hose clamp at the bottom take the math sensor off pull it all out so yeah <laughs> to sort of get it off as a wanna. And I've just lost my hose clump. <laughs> Great. Fuck. I've got it. All I had to do was take the little cage off the air tip comes with. So thank fuck for that. So now that most of that's out of the way we can get to the linkage which is this right here so all you got to do what I've seen on the video get your screwdriver so I've got to pop it off I should have got a bigger screwdriver but never mind see about the shit angle guys Get this bastard off. I think I've got it. Yes. Finally. So I've got it free now. So if you're installing one of these, your best option is to get it to go all the way back so you can get your screwdriver in and lever it. I tried it when it was like out here. No chance. You're better off when it's fully uh, back into its place. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to put the short shifter on and yeah. So, we've got the short shifter here. So, we're going to unscrew this. Put it to 35. Obviously, make sure you tighten it up with a adjustable or I think it's 30mm 30, 30 spanner. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to need this Allen key, I think the 4mm Allen keys. So yeah. So just wanted to let you know that this 10mm, so you can just use your socket set or whatever, just to tighten it up. So you've got two pieces, this goes on the top, this goes underneath. I'll bring it forward, so you can see. So, that goes under there like that. And you get your top plate. It just sits on like that. So 
the sorter in now. So you're going to get your four mil Allen key. Turn them up best you can. Yeah. Tighten it up with Allen key. So fitting that. Turbo hard pipe. Outside. Just gets more, obviously, it gets more air to turbo cause it's you know, because it's made out of aluminium. If you look on the driver's seat, that all one there, it's like a you're gonna have a right job for putting all this back together. <laughs> Where's the other five? What? Did you put that back What? No. So, where's the original pipe? In seat, have a look. Okay. That just slip, sits back on the top. See? <coughs> yeah. So well, that's the original thing. <coughs> what it was sat on. <coughs> How come it's blown it? So that's the that's the shifter. So that was sat on that. So all it is is these two plates. One sits underneath, and then obviously that one goes, and then that's like I said where the original one was. So it's it's still in it. You're not taking it out. You know. Oh, so that's all original then. Yeah, apart from that thing. <laughs> so it was just shoved in. Yeah, yeah. That's where that was. So where's that going? That'll just go in the box, in my car. No, they're in the back of my car. No, they're in the back of my car. You need a tub. See what I mean? Put stuff in. See the difference? Because yeah. that's like a curve. That's just like that and then yeah. that. <laughs> So after a ball ache of tightening them cap heads, it's all on, and I've put it, uh, obviously the link linkage back on. If you're wanting to do this, I suggest you have really small hands. You just get caught on all the cable ties and shit, and obviously they're not cut flush, so you'll get scratched. <laughs> but yeah it looks really really good I can't wait to try it out uh, do a little some few b-rolls and get it all back together <laughs> Just a quick while I'm here, while I'm putting it back together. If you get this induction, watch out for that fucking screw there. Look at damage it's caused. I don't know if you're able to see. It's ripped sort of into it. Ain't gone all the way through, luckily. But it's just, you know, one of those things. I'm wanting to cut it off, but. I don't have a hacksaw on me or anything at the moment, but you know, Ford, come on. <laughs> but yeah, we're nearly on. Like I said, it's a good thing this come off as a one So I've just got this one to tighten up, and yeah, also it does rub on here sometimes. I did have like um, some rubber, you know, just to go around it, just to protect it because it has rubbed a bit on it <laughs> see there look so that's another thing and all but this is I don't know if it's from pipe itself or what but it just rubs it seems to move a lot so but yeah we're nearly done now 
can see it it's down there so right, so that's basically done now so what we're gonna do I'm gonna go to there's a meet on tonight for Mark 8 Fiestas so I'm gonna go to that I'll get some like sound clips and that and try and uh, explain how it how quick shift as best as possible but yeah it's all gonna be social distancing and stuff just in case anyone said anything <laughs> everyone's gonna be distancing and that so but yeah uh, there's gonna be some sick cars tonight I'll try and get some shots of some and I'll catch you up in a bit so all right boys I just wanted to cut in while I were editing this um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for 100 subscribers checking while I was editing this so I just thought I'd throw this in quickly and say a massive massive thank you to everybody who subscribed and supported the channel say a big shout out to you all and thank you for all the support and everything and all the nice comments and everything so yeah I'll switch back to the normal video now and uh, see you in a bit so welcome back Join me on the way to this meet, uh, this fiesta meet that I'm off to. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me. I might be rattling about a bit. The quick shifter feels amazing already. I've only been on the road like a minute. It feels so much tighter and better. It's like it instant changes, you know. Probably one of the best things I bought. <laughs> for this car. The turbo hard pipe thing is because I've already got the induction kit I, won't, I probably won't hear the difference might help the power a little bit I'm quite sure we'll give it another blast hard pipe um, it's not, you know, for 40 quid, it completes the engine bay because I've got obviously the crossover, I've got the the primary, secondary, and that just sort of completes it. But this quick shifter, man, gotta give props to Puma Speed here. Feels amazing. 35% less throw. It's literally, I could probably do it with my finger. I can. I would show you, but I can't hold the camera while driving. Go on another tunnel. only a one litre if it were an ST if it were an ST it would probably sound so much better I've heard them with the uh, you know just the induction kit and they sound really really good and the, the turbo floater on them is immense so we're nearly at the meet now I'll catch back up to you when we're at the meet and So, 
we're back at home now. Uh, I didn't really film anything because we were moving all over the place and this aren't over time. I probably will film it. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe. So yeah, cheers guys.